Safety valves are designed for one purpose, to prevent a catastrophic failure of equipment due to overpressure. I'm Ed, and in this video, we'll review sizing and installation tips on safety valves. Safety and relief valves properly sized, maintained, and inspected on a regular basis can prevent major failures. Safety valves are designed to prevent major failure of fired and unfired equipment. Relief valves are designed to control overpressure in equipment. They can be adjustable or fixed in the pressure settings. They are not designed to meet the requirement of a safety valve. Safety valves are designed to protect equipment and are manufactured, sized, set, and installed to ASME standards. In this presentation, we will focus on steam safety valves for boilers and unfired vessels. Safety valves include a lead wire seal, which is installed by the ASME manufacturer or service shop. A manual lever can be used to test the valve on a regular basis. Steam safety valves are offered in three ASME rating requirements. Two are for boilers and one is for unfired vessels. When replacing a safety valve, get the required data from the manufacturer's nameplate. For unfired pressure vessels, you will need the steam supply pressure, steam flow required by the pressure vessel, and steam flow for the control valve. Boilers and other fired equipment fall into two groups, over or under 15 PSIG operating pressure. Large boilers will typically have two safety valves. When replacing, check each valve since they may be of different specifications. A common missing item on a safety valve installation is a drip pan elbow. Here are eight safe operation tips which you should follow. Proper installation will ensure safe operations. Please heed the warning to avoid a major failure of your equipment. We offer all major brands of safety valves as well as offering repair services. With over 100 years combined experience, we can help by answering questions, sizing, and selection of safety valves. Thanks for listening to our video.